just received our cat house in the mail and we're gonna make a video of how to put it together so uh, this is a two cat cedar cat house insulated and this is uh, the box that it comes in so just to give you an idea of the size of the box that came from FedEx today and we'll unbox it here and get it out okay got the lid open here and this is kind of what it looks like here and wrapped pretty well it's the cat door I assume and we'll get it out and start putting it together. Okay, got everything taken out of the box here. These are all the pieces that come with the uh, cat house. It's already been pre-assembled and then reassembled, so you just kind of got to put it together and put the screws back in. The reason we purchased this house is because we have outside cats. They're not inside cats, so we have some pretty cold winters around here. So this cat house comes insulated. Um, it's got a nice insulation on the inside walls, and it, they've actually, um, as you can see, they've sealed it here with the caulking to keep it, keep it um, all the cold wind out. You can also order it to come with a. Um, this is the cat door. It's got a vinyl walkthrough thing to keep the air out in the cold weather when they walk through it. So it's kind of nice. So we'll start putting it together here and see uh, how it goes comes with the instructions haven't got those out yet as you can see it's been pre-assembled and reassembled so they've have got the screws ready to go here to put them back put it together as you go so we'll get going here okay the first thing we have to do according to the instructions is find the floor panel which we did it's numbered and it's to put the insulated side down so we're going to take the insulated side put it down and then as you can see it's got it's already marked for you with the numbers three one two and then we're going to take panel one it's got the number one written on there we set it down the one side here it goes in like that there we go nice and snug and then what we're going to do is we're going to just screw the screws in as we go. okay we've got three of our four sides screwed in as you can see the screws just go down get down there there one two three four one two three four on each side now we're getting ready to put the front on now the door completely marked we're going to set it in there okay get it on there and now what we'll do get it in there Let's get her down the front there. Again. And then we're gonna screw the screws in here, here, back here, back here. And then we'll tackle the roof. We have the four walls attached to the base, so we're getting ready to put the roof on. I'm gonna give you an idea of what it looks like here. I'll give you the measurements of everything when we're done. That's what it looks like before we put the roof on. We're ready to do the roof panels next and go from there. Okay, we set the roof in place. We haven't screwed it in yet. There are two small screw holes here on the outside of the panels. Right there. You put two small screws in there. Those will connect, as you can see, to the roof. Let's get it up here. Yep, see, that goes down in there. And then that screw is going to go through there to connect, attach the roof to the walls. So we'll do that. All right, we put the roof on and then the cap. This is a cap right here that's insulated with caulking on the underside so it won't leak. It just has four screws that you have to screw in one, two, and then two in the back, three, four. So the roof is nice and secure now. Put them together. On to the next step. We're almost done. The last thing we need to do is actually one of the last before we put the house on the platform is to attach the legs to the platform. So we've got four legs that attach to the platform. They're numbered for each corner. And there's two screws for each leg. So we're going to attach the legs.
Okay, we've got the platform assembled, which was pretty easy. Just put in the four legs on. Now we're going to set the house up on top of the platform. All done. So this is our completed cat house, ready for the cats. So I'll be interested to see if they like it and if they can fit in it. Supposedly two cats are supposed to fit in here and be comfortable. So we'll see. Um, and it's got the nice insulated walls in there, as you can see, and so it'll keep them warm in the winter. It's got a nice little platform for them to lay out on. I don't know if that'll be big enough or not, but we'll find out, I guess. Should keep them dry. I wanted to give an update on the cat houses and to note a couple things. We actually purchased another one because we realized that it does say that it's for two cats, but if you have a large cat, uh, a large cat will take up pretty much one cat house, so we ended up getting another one. Um, it took them about a month, but they do go in and out of the cat houses now. Um, as you can see, one of our cats is in there right now. Mariah is sleeping. Um, but I did take off those plastic um, entryway things. They seem to not like those too much. Um, and we're kind of afraid of those going in and out. So I just took those off and we'll probably put them back on in the winter time when they get uh, really cold. When it gets really cold, I'll just probably tack them. They were mounted to the inside. I unscrewed them and I'll probably just tack them right in here. Actually, I, got, I put them... I already drilled or got the holes drilled to where I'll just put that on for the winter time. It'll be easy to take them on and off. I also added another um, deck onto the outside and what I did is I just wanted to expand it a little bit because it was kind of short. It seemed like it didn't give them enough room to um, lay around so I just put on another piece of board here, extended it out a couple feet and put two boards on so it gives them a little bit more room but they seem to like it and I think it'll be really good for the cats in the winter time to keep them warm but overall we're pretty pleased with the cat houses so I would highly recommend them if you have outdoor cats and want to keep them warm for the winter we also got a, a heated cat bed um, Mariah's in there laying on the heated cat bed right now those are really good heated cat beds it doesn't come on until the cat lays down on it and it doesn't it's got a thermostatically controlled uh, temperature sensor inside so it never gets too hot for the cat and it automatically turns off when the cat gets off of the bed so um, they seem to really like those a lot. She's been in there all day. It's a little bit chilly this afternoon so she's been sleeping on the heated cat bed. So there's the other cat. I ordered her cat bed. Should be here Tuesday so that's an update on the cat houses. So we're pretty pleased with them questions feel free to post them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them.